responsibilities for civil society organizations, both Danish Ministry of Foreign Affairs and uh, local plans in Norwegian and uh, Swedish opportunities as well. As well. Then I will tell about recycling to South. That's uh, a fund where, which I'm administrating at uh, DMCDD. Um, I'll get into a bit in my presentation what DMCDD, Danish Mission Council Development Department is. And um, that recycling to South is an opportunity which, to my knowledge, either Norway or Sweden hasn't. Uh, but I know it's quite popular here in Denmark, and we also have many diaspora organizations who are applying, who get funds through uh, the Recycling to South. So hold on, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to get inspired or see some good opportunities through Recycling to South. Yes. Uh, the Danish government and the, the foreign aid uh, given through the Danish government is, um, is uh, set out, or the framework is set out in the Act and the Strategy for Denmark's Development Cooperation. Uh, it sets out uh, an overall goal for all the aid that Denmark provides. And this is also for, for the, the business uh, aid, but we're still talking about aid. And, and now we'll get back to that later. But the goal is to fight poverty and it's to promote human rights. Um, and that will be done through a rights-based approach uh, with participation, uh, with accountability, non-discrimination and transparency. Um, furthermore, uh, Denmark in terms of, um, of having some priority themes uh, for the work. We, uh, we work with human rights and democracy, promotion of democracy. We work for green growth, which is very much uh, in line with uh, the whole business aspect of what you guys are interested in and involved in. Uh, and work uh, for social progress. And of course, uh, businesses and civil society organization as well are engaged in promoting uh, social progress and uh, the Danish government, the Danish taxpayers want to promote stability and protection, protection for both human rights but also vulnerable people. Uh, in addition to the law and this overall strategy for Denmark's development cooperation, uh, we have a policy for Danish support to civil society. And this is all, both for civil society organizations here in Denmark, but it's also for civil society organizations across Africa uh, in different countries where we have embassies, for instance, there are programs where civil society organizations locally can be engaged and can uh, get funding for the work and be involved in the processes that uh, Denmark supports. Uh, throughout different countries in Africa. The civil so society strategy uh, clearly states that it will support Danish civil society organizations to develop the capacity of their civil society partners and add value to their programs. What is important to notice here is that they're talking about partners and partnerships. It is not okay for me to be a Danish organization just, well, I have a good idea, I want to set up an orphanage, or I want to set up a small shop and just go ahead and do that somewhere. I need to be working in a partnership with somebody who has the local knowledge, who uh, can make sure that the intervention, the program, the project will carry on and have effect after the project is, is ended. And so to speak, <coughs> make sure that, that what is ignited is sustainable and uh, will carry on for a longer process. And uh, the Danish civil society strategy uh, put, sets out that it will uh, apply in innovative measures to strengthen the collaboration between Danish civil society organizations, companies under the Danita Business Partnerships. And Danita Business Partnerships is one of the opportunities which businesses uh, can actually 
get funding for some of their business development projects within Africa, within a given country in Africa where, where you uh, might have some business contacts. Uh, and you can read more about that on the Deshom page.